All right, on today's D2C goodies, where we talk about a bunch of stuff we ordered online and how we'd market it. Mike, what are you wearing? You noticed? Thank you. Noticed you're wearing something. <laughs> what is it? It's my True Classic active polo. Okay. How would you market t-shirts or apparel from True Classic? We crush it with these brands. It's remarkable. So you can do the whole gamut, right? You've got their attention play where they sell an assortment of products, different styles, different colors. People tend to buy these in every color. I ordered a three pack of one style, a three pack of another style, and they've got a bunch more that you can buy. Looking at how people buy and replenish their wardrobe a little bit or add more colors to their wardrobe. You can look at that behavior and then target people to get them to make those subsequent purchases. On the remarketing side, folks that have browsed the site, maybe opted into the email list, but still never pulled the trigger on that purchase. How do you get them off the fence? You send them a, a card after you've tried emailing them and they still haven't converted or if you use SiteMatch, uh, it's if they browse the site and you never even got their email address and you can retarget that person with a postcard. And then we even see really good results on acquisition with apparel brands like this. The AOVs are strong, that helps. It's a well-defined audience for this particular brand. I think that's one of the reasons they've had such success on Facebook too, because they really understand who their customer is, the demographics and psychographics of that customer, the creative that appeals to that customer and the messaging. So that gives us an audience to work with on the acquisition side on direct mail too. We can find the trendy younger to middle age males with certain incomes, live in certain areas and have a bunch of other attributes that looks like the true classic best customer. So we can run a lookalike model off their best customers and then layer in a lot of these other attributes about their fashion choices, where they tend to shop, things like that. I'm looking at our data here and we see you can segment by has purchased apparel in the last three months, has purchased men's apparel in the last three months, has purchased from men's apparel brands and you can filter by all the brands. Awesome.